Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Everton facing Burnley. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Number six, Alain. Number 21, Andre Gomez. And number 10, Gilfie Sigerson. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Andre Gomes plays alongside Alan in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Thank you, Goodison Park. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. This is looking threatening. Sigurdsson. It's with Alan. Andre Gomes. Richarlison. Sigurdsson. Oh, a tremendous block. And they could face difficulties here. Pivotal moment defensively. Yeah. And delivering Sigurdsson. It comes to nothing in the end. Dinya. And it's Tom Davis just cutting off the supply. Lotion. Brownhill. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Might jump in front. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And over comes the corner. Breaking at pace. Richarlison. Sigurdsson. And not cleared away properly. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Moving into the advanced position. Sigurdsson. And now Alan. Alan. Lotion. McNeil. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Promising looking attack. 
Well, he has players waiting at the back post. And it's in! 1-0, they breach the defence. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And finishing like that with a lovely headed goal is absolutely superb. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better of him, Derek. His players need help here. Back in business then, and Everton with the advantage. He's protecting it well. Jay Rodriguez. Ashley Westwood on the ball. They've lost it. Well, great read there to intercept. And he might be through here. Can he finish? And it goes! Two goals! and looking very comfortable here well here's the replay and they do say a keeper should never be beaten in his near post and he's made that error and he's been punished big mistake for me It's going their way, 2-0. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Everton have got the lion's share of possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Well, they've given him too much space. Targets available. Cross comes in. So a throw in here. Alan Sigurdsson, but it can't get all the way through. Electing to cross into the centre. And this time, it's in! And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Quite simply, not clinical enough with the header, Lee. Well, headers are always difficult. It's all about timing, and he got the timing completely wrong there. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goal, Lee. Well, he's been a little bit safe today. He's not risked anything. That's not good enough. That's why they're behind in this game. Sometimes you've just got to take a little chance. Go for it. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Jay Rodriguez. Excellent challenge. No, not the best challenge. Tremendous block. McNeil. Westwood. 
Rodriguez with it. Ashley Westwood on the ball. And the referee blows for a foul. Substitution for Burnley. Coming now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Josh Brown. To be replaced by number 16, Dale Stevens. Goodmanson. And Chris Wood. Well, he's missed it. And you have to be opportunistically when you're chasing a game. Two goals down. You've got to take chances like that, Derek. Well, he can't believe it. The coach's frustration is there for everyone to see. Keen. Here is Dinya. Holgate. A sloppy pass. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Sigurdsson. Can he put it in? Can they put it away? High pressing at its best. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Well, Derek, the stats don't lie. Chance after chance. They've played really, really well. They've really got this defence on toast. They don't know what to do. They're at sixes and sevens. This scoreline could be anything. Crossing possibilities. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And in the perfect position to read it. And a long way out here. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. And able to close down the shot. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Charlie Taylor. Ashley Westwood on the ball. Johan Berg Goodmanson. Richarlison and now Dominic Carvert-Lewin and it's Tom Davies and giving the ball away and a throw in it's going to be Alan Keane Andre Gomes. Here is Dinya. Richarlison. Oh, he's through here. Well, he did his job defensively. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. Calvert Lewin. But it can't get through. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Stevens. Johan Berg, Goodmanson. And now it is final as the referee blows the whistle and Everton get maximum points from this game. Just what the fans wanted, Lee. Well, you have to say, they did deserve the win. The two-goal margin might flatter them a little, but that won't bother them. It's three points in the bag. Well, he put in a really thorough performance tonight, Lee.
Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.